Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you've been well. It has been a very busy time for me. We had my sister's wedding on the weekend, which was absolutely wonderful. Um, but now I feel like I am fully in Chrissy mode. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I've currently, I'm filming a bit of a 2024 reset series. So I have a few episodes planned. The first episode is already out, which is my 2024 wish list, which is something I always like to do at the start of a new year is create a wish list. Um, I also have a vision board and goals video planned, um, a planner reset video, a wardrobe reset, a beauty reset. So if there are any more reset related videos you would like to see from me, please let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to add them to my little series. However, I wanted to interrupt the series today with this video because it is so highly requested and that is the handbags I sold in 2023 and why. Now the reason I didn't actually plan to film this video is because I only sold two handbags in 2023. But I do have two new, new to me, vintage designer items that arrived last week. So I thought we could do a little bit of a handbags that I sold, handbags I'm looking to sell in 2024, and also a double unboxing. So it's going to be a really fun video. If you want to make yourself comfortable, grab yourself a drink or a snack, and we'll get straight into it. So let's start off with the handbags I decided to sell this year. As I mentioned, there was only two of them. The first one was the Louis Vuitton Noé in the GM size in monogram. The reason I decided to sell that bag is because I wasn't reaching for it. And I think the reason why I wasn't reaching for it is a few reasons. One, I also have that exact bag in epi leather, in just black epi leather. And I found I was just reaching for that more. Secondly, the monogram, just the size of it, um, it just got a little bit floppy for me. So I found when it comes to bigger bags, I really like a little bit of structure and the monogram kind of just kept flopping around and I don't know, it just kind of annoyed me a little bit. Now, the third reason was because the Vachetta leather um, was just a little bit too orange for my liking. I find I gravitate towards more cool tone shades when it comes to my handbags. So... Yeah, I just felt like whenever I went to style it, it just wasn't giving me that oomph that I was looking for. Now, I struggle every single time I see Louis Vuitton handbags in monogram with Vachetta leather because I think they look amazing. Whenever I see them on Pinterest, whenever I see them styled on Instagram, I am always, the amount of times I've almost hit purchase on so many of those bags because I love the look of them on other people, but I just have to keep reminding myself that whenever they're in my collection, I just don't reach for them. So would I recommend that bag to anyone else? Absolutely. The Noe GM in general is a very practical bag, especially with an organizer. It's such a great work bag and it's such a great uni bag. However, I just felt with the combination of the coloring um, and also the fact that I had to be a little more careful with Vachetta leather. I didn't want to get it wet. I also didn't want it to start cracking because um, some vintage bags do start to get quite dry and doesn't matter what you do. Um, they're just so prone to cracking. So yeah, I decided to part ways with it. I still love the bag, but I haven't regretted selling that one. Now, the second bag I decided to part ways with was my beautiful Gucci Soho Disco bag. I had it in the black leather. That was actually my first ever designer handbag. It did me well for like three to four years. It was an absolute workhorse. Um, I've mentioned in so many videos um, that it's like my one of my all-time favorite bags and it still is however i just felt like i outgrew it um a couple of reasons maybe because it was a crossbody ba bag i just find i'm not really reaching for crossbody bags as much anymore the other thing about it was it had the big gg logo on it like it was huge and i just didn't like that about the bag now i'm not saying that anyone who has this bag in, in their collection shouldn't wear it and that it's not on trend but just for me personally, I having a YouTube channel, to be very, very open and honest, I don't have the funds to keep buying bags to share with you guys. So for me, it's just a case of whichever bag I'm using the least amount, I have to look at selling it. And if I could hold on to every bag, I would, but it's just not the reality for me. So that one I wasn't reaching for and the Louis Vuitton Noé um, in monogram I wasn't reaching for. So they were on the chopping block. Now, they're the two bags that I actually sold, and I have four bags in front of me that I'm looking at selling in 2024. So, the first one, it's probably going to be a shock to a lot of you guys. It's actually the Louis Vuitton Noé in the GM size. Now, I didn't even consider selling this bag. I never thought I would sell this bag until I 
um, purchased it in the petite size. So because I work from home majority of the time and I'm only in the office around once a week, I found that maybe the petite size would be better for me. So it's just slightly smaller than this one. Um, and ever since purchasing it, it has been great. It can fit my water bottle and my A5 planner. I don't carry a laptop to work, so I don't need my bag to fit a laptop. So I find that whenever I'm getting ready for work, love the Noe and Epi leather, but I just keep grabbing the petite size and this one just isn't really getting used anymore. And I feel I'm just not at the stage where I can just hold on to bags for the sake of it. So this one, I do think... Uh, will be on the chopping block for 2024. Of course, I will let you guys know when I do decide to sell any of these bags in case anyone is interested. Now, the next bag I'm looking to sell is actually the Gucci Bamboo Mini Tote. Love this bag, but the suede for me, we where I live, it is winter, maybe two months of the whole year. So I feel like this is a very wintry bag, which is why I have loved styling for you guys, because a lot of you live in the US and the UK. Majority of my viewers are in the US and the UK. So I feel like you guys really love this bag and you would probably get a lot more use out of it than I would because it's very wintry, it's very cozy. Um, but because it's in suede, I find that I'm just not really reaching for it um, in my climate. If this was in black leather, I would, I'm always got my eye out for one of those. If I found this little mini tote in black leather, I would 100% hold onto it because it fits. Guys, this fits a sunglasses case. It fits my phone, it fits my wallet, it fits everything. So such a great bag. It's just the colorway for me and it's just that it's suede. So again, I know a lot of people would be interested in this bag. It's an absolute crowd favorite. So I will of course let you know if I decide to sell it. Now the third bag I wanted to mention is actually the Celine Boston bag. Now this is a total maybe because this really elevates a lot of my work outfits. The crucial thing about this bag is it doesn't fit well, like it does fit technically, but it doesn't fit it well, um, my A5 planner and my water bottle. And for me, they are work essentials. And if I cannot fit them in this bag, I find that I just don't reach for it. So yeah, it's a real shame because it is so, so gorgeous. If I found it in the smaller size, they do have a smaller um, size of this more like the speedy 25 kind of size I would I would be jumping on it It's simply because it's a big bag But it can't fit the main things that I would need a big bag to fit So if I did find this in a smaller size then I would purchase it and I wouldn't use it for work I would use it just for every day. So again a total maybe I'm really not sure because I love this bag although I don't wear it much I absolutely love it now the last bag I'm looking to sell in 2024 and I know a lot of you guys are interested in this bag so I will I had a few messages about this so I will message you personally um, and it is the Fendi tote again I'm just not really reaching for it maybe it's the monogram maybe it's the style um, it is a shoulder bag style so I am surprised that I'm not reaching for it more but yeah again it just comes down to I'm reaching for other bags more. So that is why I am looking to sell this bag. I absolutely love it. Love that it's a cool tone because it does go with my wardrobe really, really well. But I think it's just, maybe it's the combination of the, no, because I do like silver hardware at the moment. I honestly don't know, guys, because it is so beautiful. I'm just not using it. So I have to look at selling it. So they're the handbags I'm looking at selling in 2024. There might be some others, but they're the, just the ones that kind of jumped out at me. I do have a few handbags on my wish list, so I will have to sell quite a few bags in order to purchase them. Now that brings me on to the very exciting double unboxing. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen one of these items and that is the beautiful vintage Gucci top handle bag guys look how beautiful this is when i saw it on the listing i died um i it is like me in a bag it's the perfect mini size it fits just your phone your wallet and your keys perfect for a day out or a night out i actually use this for my sister's wedding and it just really solidified to me that this is a great bag and I know it's going to be in my collection for a really long time. I love how classic the little top handle style is. I love the smooth black leather. I love the gold hardware. Um, again, very quiet luxury because it's not covered in branding. And the best part of all, you do have these little rings here so you can add a crossbody strap, which I do have one here just from eBay. It's just like a leather black strap that I purchased and you can add it on there. Now there are a few scratch marks on this bag, um, but 
I do not mind at all and it is to be expected with a vintage bag. Now, it looks perfect, I know. But when you look inside, this was why I was able to get it at such a good price. So this had a completely disintegrated peeling interior. So I started my process like I usually do with um, any kind of deteriorating um, Gucci bags. And that is, I just started scrubbing it out. As I did that, holes started to happen in the lining. And it is simply because the actual lining of the bag, the fabric was so thin that from the scrubbing, um, I accidentally created a few holes. Hindsight, if I had gone back in time, would I have been a little more gentle? I mean, I could have attempted to be more gentle, but I feel like I was already being quite gentle. Um, so I did have to, and I really did not want to do this because one of my friends, Miles, over on Instagram, he messaged me. He did this with his um, Gucci Dynatite. He removed the whole lining and he messaged me and he said, do not do it. So ever since then, I've always really taken care of my Gucci linings. However, I felt like I had no option, guys. I completely removed the lining. So if you want to see what a Gucci handbag looks like when the um, lining is removed, it is very, very raw. Like you've got patchwork and I definitely need to get something in there if I'm going to keep using this bag. Now over the weekend, I used it like, just like this. It was fine. There's no peeling or anything going on. So I just used it like this and it was perfect, but I can't continue to do that because it's just, it's going to ruin the bag. So help me out when i pulled the lining out i pulled off the little gucci tag i pulled off the gucci zip and i've got them aside i had a quote done to get this bag relined and it was quoted at 800 to 900 dollars which i am just not prepared to spend um, on a vintage bag i'd probably just rather look for this bag in better condition um so what do i do <laughs> i'm thinking do i just get like a black fabric hem the edges because my mum can sew so hem the edges so they're not fraying or anything um get her to sew the gucci tag onto the lining and do i glue the lining in there um i know that you are supposed to use like a contact glue so yeah that is my project for maybe over the christmas holidays is to try and reline this bag myself if you have any experience with relining a handbag please, please, please let me know. I really do need your help. Um, but it is going to be, like I said, my mum's a really good sewer um, and she's just crafty in general. So I might ask her if she has any tips, but guys, this bag is amazing. Look at how much space is in there. It's just one large opening. It is so beautiful. It looks amazing on. I love the little closure. You just simply push it in like that and you just push this button to open it. And it's just gorgeous. So I feel like if I get this right and I line it properly, this is a forever piece. I can't see myself getting rid of it. So that's the first item I wanted to share with you. I'm sure none of you expected me to be sitting here unboxing two vintage designer items at the end of December. Neither did I, um, but here we are. And when it comes to vintage items, when you see them, you have to purchase them because they don't just sit there and wait for you to kind of be ready. Um, you just have to pounce. Okay, we've got a bit of a full house here. Amber's just arrived, um, but I'm just going to continue with the video because I don't think I've shown you. Oh, I think I sent you a photo of this. Yeah. Anyway, the second item I wanted to share with you guys is a beautiful Louis Vuitton PM Agenda. I believe this print is called the, Ju or the fabric is called the Juliet. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't done enough research on it, but it is in the most beautiful. It's like a linen-y um, fabric. And then you've got the beautiful green LV monogram. And then on the inside, it's almost, is it black? Oh, oh. yeah. It's like a deep chocolate brown like on the inside. Like a coffee brown. Coffee color, yeah. So I am thinking of changing the rings in here because you can get bigger ones, um, but they're not cheap. So if you guys know of any um, Louis Vuitton larger rings that you can purchase for a decent price, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, the ones that I've seen, it's like around $100 just for the larger rings. And I don't know if I'll need it because I plan to use my A5 planner for um, my daily kind of calendar and everything and I plan to use this purely for list making. I'm always making a list and I feel like this would be good to jot down any YouTube ideas, any Instagram ideas. Um, it'll be nice just to carry in my work bag or in my handbag for that matter. So absolutely love this and I will be doing a full reset 
um, of my planner and I plan to reset. I've purchased inserts for this, I've purchased dashboards for it, so I'm really keen to reset this as well as my A5 planner. So they're my two items. Absolutely love them. What do you think? I love the I know. bag. It's, I just need to work out how to fix this. Like, What is that? Well, because I had to peel oh, out that. Did I tell you that? No. Yeah, it was full disintegrating and then I tried to clean it and it kind of got holes in it, so I had to pull it out. And I got a quote to get that done. It was like $800, $900. So I'm going to see if mum can like help me reline that. Oh, I reckon I'll be... I mean, I still use it. It's fine. Like, yeah, I, it I like the size of the strap that you had on that. Yeah, just like a length. Little, yeah, it was like a crossbody strap, but I didn't have it too long. I kind of had it... Yeah, it was kind of just on your hip. On my hip, but like slightly really up. Nice. I feel like that's really trending at the moment. It is. So yeah, absolutely love those. They're my new items. Um, and yeah, seeing as Amber's here, did you want to give a little bit of an update of your wedding? Yeah. And your belly. Yep. So you guys haven't seen Amber for so long. I really want to film um, like a video of us getting ready together or something. Yeah. We'll do that over the Chrissy holidays just because I watched one that we did ages ago and I just loved it so oh. and I think a lot of people loved it too yeah um but anyway yeah so we had our wedding over the weekend it was perfect the um weather held up for us we thought it was going to storm at one point but it was really amazing because as we were doing our ceremony outside the sun was still on us but in the background there was a full lightning I show I uploaded a photo to my Instagram yeah. I'll insert it here somewhere on the screen um there is the most amazing photo of Amber and Jake um, saying their vows and there's a full like someone was able to capture like the, the biggest lightning strike lightning strike in the background it was pretty amazing um, and then yeah literally just as we wrapped up the ceremony and we all got undercover then it started raining really heavy so it was mm. just a miracle that um, we all stayed dry and then we went to um, our reception after which was really fun just catching up with all of our closest family and friends and um, having a really good dance on the dance floor so it was the best night, probably one of the best nights of my life, or days of my life. And then also show me a few oh, updates yeah. from Amber. Yeah. Show me your belly. Ready, sit. So I'm um, just, I think tomorrow I'm 24 weeks. Great. So this is my stomach at the moment. Yeah, I think this is a really nice time in your pregnancy at this stage, so I'm, I'm loving it. Um, I love it too. I can't believe, it's just so nice. Oh, it's just so fun, like watching... Like, I'm just so excited for the baby. But yeah, that's a little update from Amber. I hope you guys like this video. Usually when I'm filming, uh, if Amber rocked up, I'd be like, can you just wait out there? I need to finish filming. But I've just had this absolute mental shift with my channel and um, my presence online is I get so many comments from you guys saying how much you love the authenticity. And yeah, Amber would genuinely come in here and hang out with me if I showed her any new items that I have. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to keep that all in there, you know. Mm. So I hope you guys don't mind that. So anyway, guys, we're going to close off the video. We're going to hang out. It's very hot. And cold drink, I think. Cold drink. And um, yeah, I will chat to you all in my next one. And if you want to see a video from Amber and I, maybe like a little get ready with us, let us know and we'd be happy to film that too. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See you guys. Bye.